Video? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey guys, it's Janice Gaines, and I'm bringing a word from the Lord. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not a joke. It's not. I am just goofy, and you know, thanks just for letting me be me. Anyway, I am trying to bring a word of encouragement to you um, from the word, though, because I mean, it's a tough season, and I don't know about you, but um, it's an anxiety producing season, and the only antidote for that for me is the word of God and just the truth of God and so I figured if I've been needing it somebody else needs it and so I just wanted to share it um I was reading Philippians 4 and it's really verses 6 through 6 and 7 that have really just been blessing me and we've heard it before generally most of us have but it says do not be anxious about anything but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And I was studying that the other day um, in my prayer time because I was just stressed out. And the Lord was making some things clear to me. And I'll tell you what he made clear to me. But what I realized, the first thing I realized was if the Lord is saying, don't be anxious, clearly there will be things to be anxious about. And I want you to feel, um, I don't want you to feel uh, ashamed that there are things that are trying to produce anxiety in your life. Um, first of all, there are things that are anxiety producing and the coronavirus and being quarantined and having information, then it, be, then it changing, dot, dot, dot. All of these things are anxiety producing. So right before verse six starts where it says, do not be anxious about anything, it says the Lord is at hand. And I want us to remember that the Lord is at hand. So then do not be anxious about anything. And what we're gonna do is instead is in everything, the word says, in everything, two things. One, by prayer and supplication, and two, with thanksgiving. We're going to do something by prayer and supplication, and we're gonna do it with thanksgiving. What are we doing? We're making our requests known to God. That's why we don't have to be anxious about anything because we get to make our requests known to God, and we're gonna do so by really praying and really giving thanks. A lot of times I realize in my life, I've done one or the other. I have been, oh, Father God, Father God, would you do this, God, would you do this, God? And other times in my life, I've been like, well, Lord, I just thank you. Like, I see the good. I see what you're doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, in spite of. But the word says we don't have to be anxious about anything. And instead, what we're going to do is we're really going to pray and we're really going to give thanks. And that's how we're going to make our requests known to God. And so it's kind of like a prescription in this time when anxiety is coming at us Um it's kind of like I had a counselor one time because y'all know I go to counseling. Don't be surprised when I say that because I'll say it all the time. And the Lord has given me great nuggets in counseling. But I had a counselor one time say, hey, when this person throws balls at you to get a, get a, get a response from you, just don't catch them. <laughs> so when coronavirus tries to throw anxiety at you, just don't catch it. Instead, we're going to bring our requests to the Lord by praying and by giving thanks. And then the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. You're not going to be able to explain why you have so much peace. That's what's going to guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So as the anxiety comes at you, don't catch it. Instead, pray, give thanks. And that's how you're going to make your requests known. And that's how you're going to receive peace. So be blessed.